That's right, race fans. We are here at the World Center of Racing, the Daytona International Speedway for IROC Daytona, presented by More Freedom Trucking. And we are starting off season three here in the IROC series. So we've got a few things to go through. So let's do those real fast. Um, here is your schedule for this season in the IROC series. Uh, again, we're here at Daytona here on February 26th. On April 1st, I had to, what is month four? April 1st will be Dar IROC Darlington. May 5th will be IROC Milwaukee. June 10th will be IROC Nashville. July 22nd will be IROC Las Vegas. April 20, or I'm sorry, August 26th will be IROC at the Charlotte Roval. September 30th will be the IROC at Michigan. And rounding out the season for the season finale in November, on the November 4th, we'll have IROC at Talladega. So that is your schedule for this season. Your points schedule, your points look like this for the season, the season points. The, how the points are calculated. There we go. Um, first place will get 147. Second, 135. Third will be 128. Fourth will be 121. Fifth will be 114. Sixth will be 109. Seventh will be 104. Eighth will be 99. Ninth will be 94. And the tenth place person will get 89 points. And as you can see, there's only 10 drivers this season in the IROC series. And they will get bonus points for five bonus points for leading a lap, five for leading the most laps, five for the pole position, and five for leading at halfway. So that's how the points will round out this season. Let's go through your drivers for this year in the IROC series. So the first driver we have is going to be the number three of Geek Girl Games, last season's champion in the More Freedom series. And so these are the top 10, just to give context, these are the top 10 drivers in career points for the More Freedom Series. So currently G3 leads that after last season and just her amazing run to the championship. But these are all in numerical order. So second driver we will have will be the 07 of Douche Baggins, who is IROC Series Season 1 champion. Third, we will have the 13 at King of the Aces, who is the More Freedom Series Season 1 champion. Then we'll have the 23 at Fuller Than You, the 25 at JTM, the 40 of Veteran Chaos, the 49 of Jetman, the 96 of Nico, who is More Freedom Series Season 2 champion, the 329 of Heck of Duber, who finished second in the points last year, and the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days. You'll notice that Ice Cream with the 356 this season, she has changed numbers to the 356. You'll hear more about that on Friday in the More Freedom Series. But that is, I think, all I have right now for the IROC series. As far as the opening goes, the crowd is already piling into this massive stadium, racetrack, wherever we are here at Daytona. They're piling into it. So I think it's about time. So let's go racing. Well, let's go through your starting lineup for this IROC at Daytona. Starting on the pole will be the 07 of Douche Baggins, and on his outside, the 25 of JTM. Starting third will be the 13 of King of the Aces, and on his outside, the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days. Starting fifth will be the 49 of Jetman, and on his outside, the 96 of Nico. Starting seventh will be the 40 of Veteran Chaos, and on his outside, the number three of Geek Girl Games. Starting ninth will be the 329 of Heck of a Duber, and starting 10th, will be the 23 of Fuller Than You. So that's your starting lineup today for the IROC series here at Daytona, presented by More Freedom Trucking. As you can see, these cars are looking absolutely fantastic. Um, we'll, you're gonna have to get used to the colors and all that stuff. These are the most of the primary colors on their cars in the More Freedom series, which you'll be seeing coming up on Friday here on the NM Gaming Network. Still working on that. It might be the NM Sports Network. I think I like that better. So the NM Sports Network. So we got the NM Sports Network <laughs> association with more freedom trucking. But yeah, we are here for the IROC series. I've been looking forward to this ever since the end of last season and just this change 
to the Vipers for this season is going to be very exciting. It's going to be it's a big car. It's going to be a lot for these drivers to handle. There's a lot of horsepower underneath them. And we're going to see how they handle that horsepower, how they do in this pack racing and uh, everything as that pace car ducks off the track and we are coming down to the green flag. And we are underway here at Daytona for the IROC series. As DB, the 07 of Douche Baggins, leads us down into turn one. On his outside is that 25 of JTM. Right behind him is going to be the 13 of King of the Aces. And following, trying to close in, is going to be the 49 of Jetman. So a couple MBR drivers right there in the frame. I got three MBR drivers in this field today. The 25, the 49, and the 96, as well as couple douche motorsports who is leading the field right now that 07 has the 13 of king of the aces drops down to the inside of the third of the uh, 07 he is trying to get a run on that 25 of jtm as they come off a of turn four first race jitters for your announcer as i try, try to get back into the swing of things uh the 25 hooked up right there on the back bumper of that 07 of Douche Baggins as the 13 of King of the Aces works down to the inside. Followed behind him is going to be the 49 of Jetman. We're going to see if Jetman goes with the 13 of King of the Aces or if he slips it high and uh, tries to, uh, or goes low and tries to get make it three wide. That's the 25 still riding there in second place behind the 07 of Douche Baggins. Let's bring up your timing and scoring. As always, your top 10 will be on the left. Your favorite driver is scrolling across the top. I almost forgot our timing and scoring. So as you can see, Douche Baggins currently in the first position. That 25 of JTM is now moved solidly into the second position behind him as the 13 of King of the Aces comes down and tries to work to the inside of that 25 of JTM. So a little bit different here for these Vipers as the 49 of Jetman. Hard low down on the bottom of the track as the 30 of Geek Girl Games. Tries to give the 13 of King of the Aces that push up to the front of the track. She's almost unable to do so as the 07 of Douche Baggins still going to be your leader here on lap number three or so. 20 laps of green flag action here today at Daytona as the 25 of JTM now down to the inside. Of that 07 of Douche Baggins as he is working underneath him right now. He's Lay, was lying in wait this whole time. We're going to see if he can get some draft help from behind as those cars are stacked up high above him. The uh, 356 of Ice Cream Some Days is right there behind that, three, or that 07 of Douche Baggins as she tries to work around the 25 at JTM now. She is now into solidly into second place as DB has just the, the hammer down in that Viper as now Ice Cream Some Days down to the inside. She is going to get a great run through the turn, a great draft. Well, that's 07 of Douche Baggins. She is going to make it stick as we get down the backstretch. We're going to see maybe our first lead change of the day and of the season here in the More Freedom or the IROC series as that 25 at JTM just, oh, has to get up on the binders right there as he almost got in contact. With that zero or the three five six of ice cream some days, as now the thirteen of king of the aces down to the inside, way down to the inside, getting squirrely there. After the trial, will end to turn one is that thirteen of king of the aces, the twenty five of J JTM now battling back with his teammate, the ninety six of Nico. As some folks in the back, just Duber and a vet falling back a little bit, and it looks like in the last position right now is going to be the three of Geek Girl Games. She's in danger of losing that draft if she does not get that, just get a better run here. As the 25 of JTM going the long way around the outside of that 07 of Douche Baggins back into third position as he is trying to work behind the 13 of King of the Aces right there behind the side. The 356 of Ice Cream Some Days. Here comes the 23 of Fuller Than You, Aces to Zed Motorsports. And Aces to Zed Motorsports driver as the 49 of Jetman working down to the inside of that 23 of Fuller Than You. And he is going to try to give some draft help to his MBR teammate here, the 25 of JTM, who 
just is driving the wheels off that Viper here today at Daytona in this IROC Series race. As the 13 of King of the Aces, again, is your leader right now. His Aces to Zed Motorsports teammate leaving him high and dry on the outside right now as the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days, who I will mention right now has moved over to G3 Motorsports from Aces to Zed. So G3 now with uh, the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days as her teammate as the 25 of JTM gets slowed up going, into, going through turns one and two. The 356 now working into the second position. She is getting some help from the 07 of Douche Baggins down to the inside of that 13 of King of the Aces. Three drivers up top, two down low. We're going to see what the 49 of Jetman does here as he drops down to the bottom to race with the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days and that 07 of Douche Baggins. So DB now working back up to the front of this pack as here comes that 25 of JTM again. He's making it three wide with the three. No, I'm sorry. I thought that was a 49 of Jetman. That's a 329 of Heck of a Doer as the three of Geek Girl Games has now thrown her hat back into the ring here. As we work lap number nine here in the IROC series, nine of seven or nine of 20. Sorry, we're getting close to halfway here. As your current leader is still going to be that three. The 356 of Ice Cream Some Days as the 13 and King of the Aces down to her inside. Lead in, I believe that might be halfway right there. So it looks like Ice Cream Some Days is going to be your leader at halfway, which, you know, eight races this season, every point counts, even bonus points here. So that five bonus points, I believe, is going to go to the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days as that 07 of Douche Baggins trying to work to the inside of her, followed by the 23 of Fuller Than You. So Fuller in this, that's actually a silver paint job on that car. So silver and white for the 23 of Fuller than you. So he is working, trying to work down to the inside. But he is now three wide with the 25 and might be the 329 because it looks like the 49 is on the outside of that 07 of Douche Baggins right now. So DB is now working down to the inside of the 356 as we head down the back stretch, lining up down to the inside two MBR teammates, the 25 and the 96, the 96 of Nico. Just these cars bouncing around because they're going in excess of 200 miles an hour here at Daytona as the 49 of Jetman is trying to make a run for the lead here on the 13 of King of the Aces who is doing his best to block every single lane here at Daytona. As they head through one and two, the 356 down to the inside. She's gonna get a great run through the turn. She's gonna hook up with the 49 of Jetman in that three, or is that the night? Yeah, the three of Geek Girl Games as she's trying to work towards the front of this pack. So Ice Cream has just she is trying to win race number one here in the More Freedom Series for this season. Not the More Freedom Series, I'm sorry, the IROC Series. Uh, just our overall champion, or our overall racing conglomerate of the More Freedom Stock Car Racing Association. So the 329 of Heck of a Duber, last season's second place points runner up is now trying to work to the front of this track as he started way back in ninth position I mean not way back I mean that's row five but the 329 is trying to work himself up to the front of this pack and here comes the 25 at JTM I'm not sure if he just melted those tires off earlier in that run as it looks like the 96 of Nico has now worked his way into what could possibly be the second position a bump there by the 13 of King of the Aces on the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days. He had to get onto the brakes as she just she's doing her best right now as she is just riding in the middle of the track basically getting the draft from both lanes as the 96 of Nico now down to her inside. Nico is 
up to the lead once again. Last, I, I forgot to mention, Nico's last season's IROC Series champion. So in, in the conglomerate that is the More Freedom Stock Car Racing Association, Nico has two championships, one in the IROC Series and one in the More Freedom Series. So he's looking to repeat here in the IROC Series this season and also in the More Freedom Series. So looking for maybe championships three and four this coming year. He's been a fantastic driver over the last two seasons in both those series and unfortunately did not get a win last season. Uh, finished third after going into Daytona, or I'm sorry, Talladega, the final race of the year. Going into that race, leading the points, just had an absolutely terrible race. Um, ended up finishing third with G3 pulling out that win in the in the championship um, after she got, I believe, four wins last season, three or four wins last season. But your leader right now is the 96 of Nico, the 13 of King of the Aces, who has just been really great all day here at Daytona, is now into the second position as the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days. Really trying to work underneath him right there. And again, these cars just, with the arrow that they have, they are closing up so fast in the draft that if they're, these drivers not being used to it or having to get on those brakes right away so they don't hit that driver in front of them. So it's interesting to watch here at the, the first race of the season as we are coming to... Just a couple laps to go here in the IROC series with the 96 of Nico, your leader, as we see that 07 of Douchebag is running third now. And here comes the 49, the 329 of Heck of a Duber down to the inside. As DB runs really high off the turn. Again, uh, the 329, uh, also a Douche Motorsports driver for the More Freedom series. So a couple, lots of teammates here in the IROC series for this season as the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days down to the inside of the 07 of Douche Baggins. Not the last lap yet. I think we're gonna get one lap to go here in just a moment. Oh, no, no, that is the white flag here as the 96 of Nico gets pushed up by the 13 at King of the Aces. Here comes that 07 to Douche Baggins, the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days. DB drag racing down the back stretch with, with the 13 to King of the Aces, the three of Geek Girl Games trying to go with somebody here. Your leader is the 13 to King of the Aces off of turn four, headed towards the stripe. We're gonna see if this is gonna be the white flag. I think this is the white flag here. White flag lap, your leader, the 13 to King of the Aces. He's getting, trying to, the 96 of Nico trying to get a run down to the inside. On the 13 of King of the Aces. The three of Geek Girl Games riding in the middle right now. She might try to play spoiler again for everybody as they head down the backstretch one final time. Out in the lead so far right now is the 13 of King of the Aces. Down to the inside is the 96 of Nico. Followed right along is that 07 of Douche Baggins. Nico with a bump right there. Lost traction coming off of Come up, going into three and four. Your leader off of four is the 13, a king of the aces. Coming down to the stripe, your winner today here in the IROC series at Daytona is going to be the number 13 of king of the aces, followed right behind is going to be that three of Geek Girl Games. So, wild end to the IROC series here at Daytona. The 96 of Nico getting that run through three and four. On the last lap, you could see his car must have bottomed out and got loose going into the turn because, they I mean, again, they're going about 220 into those turns. So amazing finish here today. Your winner, let's go through your finishing order. Your winner is the number 13 at King of the Aces. Second place will be the number three of Geek Girl Games. Third will be the 329 of Heck of a Duber. Fourth will be the 96 of Nico. Fifth will be the 07 of Douche Baggins. Sixth will be the 23 of Fuller Than You. Seventh will be the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days. Eighth will be the 25 of JTM. Ninth will be the 40 of Veteran Chaos. And rounding out your field will be the 49 of Jetman. So awesome run today for the 13 of King of the Aces. He was able to get that draft lead. He tied for the lead of the most laps between himself and Ice Cream Someday. So five bonus points to both of those drivers. 
taking a victory lap right there is the 13 of King of the Aces. I don't know, it's G3 hanging out there as well. You know, she's just making herself known. You know, hey, I'm more Freedom Series Season 3 champ. I'm here. So uh, that's a fantastic run for the 13 of King of the Aces. We can check on your points real fast as I'm sure King is leading the points. Probably going to be pretty close. But King is probably I'm mean, King will be leading the points because he he won, but he's he's a points leader checking through those standings. There are no team standings here in the IROC series, uh, or manufacturer standings because it's all uh, the excuse me it's all Dodge, so no manufacturer points here in in the IROC series, but. Hey, that was a fantastic race today. Great win by the 13 King of the Aces. He is back on the winning board, finally. I can't remember if he won a race in either IROC or more Freedom Series last season, but he had a rough go after his win in Season 1. Season 2 and 3 weren't the best to him in the more Freedom Series, so great to see him back in victory lane to start off the season, and hopefully I know he's hoping that it starts off the season in the more Freedom Series, him as... You know, hey, this could be a kickstart to how I run this season in the More Freedom series, and I know he is super excited about that. But congratulations to the 13 and King of the Aces. He is your winner here today for the IROC series at Daytona. Looking forward to Friday when we come back here to Daytona for, I believe, the Daytona 100 and for the More Freedom series. And I think it's going to be a fantastic year, and hopefully you all come back and watch all the racing action on the NM Sports Network and our racing conglomerate that is the More Freedom Sports Car Racing Association. So and until Friday, back here at Daytona, take care.